Hey, hey, hey! Just arranging my hair because it looks messy, but who cares? What I'm planning to do today for the studio is to make a new cube or a storage cube. Because we are changing a little bit the things around the, um, our home, uh, we have decided to close the studio so we have nobody coming in the studio from my family. But also the studio has a separate entrance, which always we had that. But there was another access door which they could come in. So we will close that permanently and then all my clients will be in here. So. I bought a fridge, I bought cof the coffee machine, we already had it, but I w bought a jug to, to boil the water for the babies or make teas, um, whatever. And then, because all my props were all around the house, some of them, because I had too many, um, I said, okay, what do I do now? I need more space. So the plan of this unit is to put it behind one of the the backdrops um, because I really don't have wall space where to put it I just don't and as you see here I have a door that was the main entrance door so what we will do we will close it off it will be just a one wall piece that wall will have been great if we could have used this as a um, backdrop wall but because I don't have space and in my studio, what I will do, and I will turn, I will take the camera with me. I will turn this around. So it's a mess now. <laughs> Yesterday was so clean because I had a session. So this part here will come with the storage unit and there will be the space here left to put more backdrops uplifted up maybe in tubes to be easier to access them because right now my backdrop i will show you where they are um and if you remember i had in that corner i had a boho look and i will still make it and these are all the thoughts from there let me put the light first Ooh. hopefully i don't fall so this is when the struggle is real and you have to make it work with whatever you have so that's where my entrance is so i have a bed set up in here and then in here it's my storage area and as you see <laughs> my beanbag is still here because i don't want to sell it i have two tables with lots of props underneath and on top and in the back i have all my wraps more wraps here and then i you can see on the floor i have lots of backdrops so this storage area it was open before all this pandemic started and it looked beautiful the clients were able to access and see all the props but then when pandemic started i didn't want people to touch them so i've done this closed off system let's hope i don't fall so as you see, it's just on poles. And then I bought a bed and I came with the idea of making a parent's area where they can sit down. It works beautiful. So this setup had a hand painted backdrop in the back and now I've changed it on white just to change it from time to time. And if I don't like it, I will put a cream backdrop and so on. So I'm just playing up with the backdrop. But pretty much the set, it stays like this. And usually I ha I could use the window light if I want. Uh, never used it. I am just don't know what light it will be. And I always, love, I always love to have consistent light. Um, so usually I put my umbrella in here and I shoot through in here. And it looks amazing. I will show you some example of pictures of images like shot in this area with this backdrop so the idea of that setup will come in here a little bit more smaller 
not so white because in here I pretty much I just store blankets and things which I don't use so often and um, I don't need to access them so pretty much I will have when I will have this backdrop up I will have to take it down and take my props from underneath if I have to it will be a little bit of shambo mambo but we'll see how we go Cool, so we, I finished to so put all the stuff back, I may need a few more boxes but maybe not, I think I will leave them as they are so I can put stuff in it. I still have to arrange sort of this paperwork, I'll come back to this in here, I will have to buy some trays so I can put my priority list and now we are very straight and now we are enclosing this area as we did before. So let's see. What I will do, I can still access this props here. I can take them out and I can still go in the back a bit. So go in the back and access my camera, that's the important one. But what I will do when I don't have clients, I'll just let it go and I will just open it like that. And when I have clients or I want to keep it nice, I will just put it back. to be able to come over pretty much the picture will be taken just about here so I still have that window look through if I want or I can put my light on this side and I can do a different look. And also if I have the camera behind, the if I have the light behind, I can still take the shot from this angle. Because why not? Sometimes it's good to have different angles. And then going in the back, this is the situation. But what I'm doing, while I don't have clients, I will just push this one like that and I'll access my stuff in there. So if I want to access more stuff, pretty much I will have to go all around. But what I can do, not to have too much of a drama, I can take that plant and put it on the other side and the pillow to the middle and just leave it like that when I don't have clients to access my stuff and then put it back when I have clients. You have to do what you have to do. And usually I this is the shot so I really don't need that corner so much but I prefer to have it to make sure that I don't need to do extension of the backdrop or, or any kind of these things. So keep the situation clean. Beauty. That was the conversion of the studio with <laughs> some storage in the back and I can still put storage on top of that um, cubicle and that's how you make it and nobody needs to know what's behind that backdrop. I hope you enjoyed this video 
and I hope you learn to be very proactive and efficient with your space and I will see you next time in the next tutorial. Have a great day and see you next time. Don't forget, click subscribe, share it with your friends, tell them about me. In this way, I can do more videos. If not, it will take me forever and I will do nothing. So, see you next time.